these sailors have set sail for the latest edition of the Ocean Race, which kicked off on the 15th of January, 2023. A prestigious sailing competition that covers a distance of 32,000 nautical miles. It's considered the longest and toughest sailing event in the world, with teams of sailors competing against each other in a test of endurance, strategy, and skill. The race is known for its harsh conditions, with sailors facing extreme weather, rough seas, and long stretches of isolation as they circumvent the globe. Despite the challenge, the ocean race attracts top sailors from around the world who are willing to push themselves to the limit in pursuit of victory. The competition is not just a test of physical strength, but also of mental toughness, as sailors must remain focused and adapt to changing conditions in order to succeed. We put it back together, and then a big patch over the top. So I think we did a very good job. The Ocean Race is truly a unique and exciting event, and it continues to capture the imagination of sailing fans everywhere. We are getting out of the shore, back into our rhythm, and it's a bit more relaxed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. all good on board, no damage, and now we start the race. The Ocean Race kicked off this January in Alicante, Spain. The city has hosted the start of the last four editions of the race, dating back to 2008. From Alicante, the teams embark on a grueling journey, taking sailors on a series of challenging legs, testing their endurance and skill. It's been far from straightforward. Anything but really. Uh, we've had yeah, multiple transitions, a lot of changes, but actually we've, we've sort of come out in quite good shape. We're leading the fleet. Some of the stops along the route include South Africa, Brazil, and Denmark. The race is not for the faint of heart, and it requires a high level of physical and mental toughness in order to succeed. For over four decades, the Ocean Race has been the longest and toughest professional sporting event in the world. The first race took place in 1973, originally known as the Whitbread Round the World Race, and it was established as a way to test the limits of human endurance and the capabilities of modern sailing technology. The original course was designed to follow the route of square riggers, which carried cargo around the world during the 19th century. A total of 17 teams entered, and the course took them 27,000 nautical miles around the world over four legs. It was won by a Mexican amateur, Ramon Carlin, in a Swan 65 yacht. This is the 14th edition of the race, with 167 boats having taken part in the previous editions of the race to date, with 43 different nationalities having been represented. So how is the Ocean Race scored? Well, it's based on how teams perform during each leg of the race, with most points being awarded to the teams finishing in the top positions. There are as many points distributed as there are boats. So the winner will take five points, while the last team takes one, with the exception of the two double point legs in the race. The Ocean Race is a highly competitive event, and it's not just about finishing first in each leg. It's about consistently performing well and being able to adapt to changing conditions in order to succeed. So far it's been a pretty tiring night. I've done about 10 different sail changes. I've gone from fourth place up to leading for a while. And now we're kind of somewhere in the top three, but everyone's super close. So... The trophy the winning team receives is a symbol of a great many sacrifices made by many sailors over the years with each circle representing an edition of the race going back to 1973. In 2023, Heli Hansen has a partnership with Geo Environmental Team Europe. The team is made up of experienced sailors from across Europe who are passionate about the sport and committed to pushing themselves. The boat is just over 18 meters in length with a mast height of 29 meters and hitting a top speed of 32 knots led by skippers who have an extensive sailing experience. In addition to their sailing skills, the team is also known for their commitment to environmental sustainability, and they are working to raise awareness about the importance of protecting our oceans and preserving marine ecosystems. The 2023 Ocean Race is expected to be different from previous years in a number of ways, with a brand new route, and it also features a number of new teams and sailors, as well as new boats and technologies. This will add an extra level of excitement and uncertainty to the competition, as teams will have to adapt to new challenges and face off against unfamiliar opponents. 
But one stage that will remain as perilous as ever is the Southern Ocean leg of the race, which is notorious for being one of the most dangerous and challenging parts of the competition. And this year is the longest crossing in the ocean race's history. The Southern Ocean is home to some of the roughest and most treacherous seas on the planet, with high winds, huge waves, and extreme cold making it a dangerous place to sail. The Southern Ocean is also known for its unpredictable weather, with sudden storms and changes in wind direction adding to the challenges that these sailors are facing. Overall, it's clear that the 2023 Ocean Race will be a race that should not be missed. With a challenging and diverse route, talented and competitive sailors put to the ultimate test, and a showcase of incredible boat technology and design, the race is shaping up to be an event like no other. Whether you're a sailing enthusiast or just a fan of thrill, adventure, and emotion that comes with such extreme sporting competitions, the Ocean Race is sure to have something for everyone, and it's sure to be a memorable experience for all who are partaking.